full blooming anemones are great to incorporate in your garden. I'm Mark Viette and I live in the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia. So in the Shenandoah Valley, you can grow these either in bright shade or full sun. But if you live in places like Richmond, Williamsburg, Philadelphia, you're going to want to grow them uh, not in full sun, but bright shade. These fall blooming anemones slowly spread in the garden. They're not invasive. And they're filled with either pink or white. I'll show you a couple other varieties in a minute that are great. By the way, this is a variety that I found in our garden. In fact, I'm going to patent it. It's a shorter variety. It gets about this tall. So they have different heights, but they slowly spread. You can divide them and replant them in the fall or early in the spring. One of my favorite fall blooming anemones is this beautiful double. Look at all the flowers that you're seeing here. And it is known as Anemone Pamina. The variety is Pamina. And it has been in this area, in our garden, it's got to be 20 years old. But a great fall blooming plant, Anemone Pamina. The white fall blooming anemone is beautiful in this garden. And it started out as maybe two plants and slowly spread over the last 10 to 15 years. And this anemone is known as Honorine Hobert. But look how beautiful this is. Um, and as you can see, it gets about uh, three feet in height and the best time again to transplant or plant the fall blooming anemone is going to be in the fall or early spring some anemones like the one we looked at honorine hobert is a single flower but this one here is whirlwind and it is a double flowered anemone. There are so many anemones that you can choose from for your garden and they will bloom for maybe six to almost eight weeks in the fall right in your own backyard. <laughs> 